Spring Lafay, Simply Tarot. I had two cards fall out when I was shuffling this deck. Um, this one right here. So, you know, I feel like they go for you, Aquarius. Um, this one was up, this one wasn't. So we're gonna we're gonna look at those. And um, this one here is 34. Impossible things impossible things this one is 31 believe say you know this sounds to me like it's telling someone to believe in what feels like it could be impossible things are truly possible okay let's see what these say I have to get something to see them it's a little rough strange encounters say strange encounters Hmm, that can mean many different things. You see, right there we have a unicorn. Um, this could also have to do with, um, it feels like, honestly making wishes. And, you know, that's just like um, when me and my son was out and we was watching for the shooting stars. Oh my goodness. I've never seen the beat. I mean, it, it was something. You know, we had, um, a, there was a shooting star that went and it had fire um, from, you know, the tail and it was just, you know, and then, and then there was one that, as it went, it was like it had this tail that was like, almost like a white ribbon just flopping. And um, that's very, you know, that's very strange. It's very odd when you haven't seen something. So, I also feel like that um, this could also be for someone who is possibly coming into their gifts, possibly, um, you know, seeing things that they, you know, they're not used to seeing, possibly seeing um, spirits or such. It's going to be different for different people. Um, I also feel like, though, that is, is a message of believe, believe, believe in the impossible. Believe in, you know, what you desire, even if you, you know, we, we grow up, a lot of us, and we're, you know, if, like if you grow up poor, you know, you get this mindset, or you could get this mindset, and I know several people do, of that's where you're at, you know. Maybe you'll get a little bit better job, but, you know, you kind of limit yourself. Huh, I don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, and then we have number 34, impossible things. Working through disbelief. Imagine, imaginative leaps. Fresh perspective. So, seeing things a lot differently. Seeing things that you may have not have thought you would see. Just by looking at things from a different perspective. So this here goes for, this could be for so many different people in so many different ways. We'll just, we'll just leave it at that. Um, I'm going to get you an overall energy. Oh yeah. For Aquarius. Okay, the cop. So, okay, this goes right along with what I was saying, um, and it's number 20. Some of you may be coming into your spiritual path, what you are called here to do. Um, you know, some of you, you may be called to open yourself up to your gifts, you know. Um, and it's up to you whether you accept and, you know, decide to um, go forward with your gifts. And then some of you, you know, it's going to happen and it happens and, you know, you either can be accepting of it and learn from it, you know, try to learn, um, or you can try to hide it away. I feel like with this being the call, you know, you're being called because there's something big, you know, there's something big. And it may not, it, you know, it may not feel like anything big when it's happening. That doesn't mean it's not big, you know. Um, you could see one thing. Say you see, like if you wish to see spirits, maybe you see one spirit. 
Maybe you get one message. That may be that may be it. But that's a big thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like that um, also for for many of you who have made wishes, start looking for those wishes to come true with the star card being here. Because I feel like that um, it's time. It is time for you to start receiving. Stop believing the impossible and start believing the impossible can happen. You know, don't let yourself believe that you can't have. No. Okay. Okay, someone's not in a very good place right now. That's not in a good place. Um, they're, they're, it's, it's almost like moving too quickly. Moving too quickly. Uh, needing to understand. Needing to stop. Needing to slow down. See, we've got aces here. So, it's not that things aren't good. It's almost like, uh, I feel like whoever I'm talking to is having an understanding of, they're not understanding, you know. And they're all in their head. They may not be getting a lot of sleep. They may be out of balance, out of sorts. And it's holding them back. They're holding themselves back to what they're doing. Um, I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you got something going on that you're being called to do and you may not even realize it. Um, and it's got to do with, you know, believing the impossible. Um, now, for some of you, this is just for some, it doesn't have anything to do with special gifts or anything. It's got to do with believing that you are worthy of having better than you've had. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, in other words, believing it in the impossible. But until you turn this around and take control back, it's kind of hard to bring yourself out of that place of, um, you know, the world card is here because it's time to change this. It's time to um, end this chapter, chapter, uh, excuse me, and um, take control. Wherever this is for you, for some of you, this has got to do with special gifts and moving forward on your path, and you just don't understand. But I'm gonna tell you. If you've got things going on, there is more help than you would you could believe on online now. You can get help. You can find out more than you know. It's it's um, if you're seeing things or if you're feeling things or if you're hearing things, you can get help online now um, and for free. I mean, you, you, there's lots of knowledge on there now. Does that mean you believe everything? No, it doesn't. But you research. You know, take things with a grain of salt. Go by what you feel, too. Don't don't shut down your intuition. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, you know, some people, they understand right away what, what's going on with them. And it's just clear to them. And then you go to other people, like myself, that had trouble understanding. Um, still do somewhat on some things. Not as much, but, you know, I've had to get myself where I'm at. Um, but the thing is, is, you know, wherever this is, if this has to do with spiritual path and gifts, you know, if it's a feeling like someone needs to accept what's happening and move forward with it instead of allowing it to put them in a place of, of uh, not, you know, just, that's not a good feeling. I just don't feel good. Um, and then if this has to do with holding yourself back because you, you're in this mindset of uh, limited belief systems that you aren't worthy, you need to move out of that. You need to move out of that place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Move away from that energy. Yeah. Um... Let's see. I'm going to take um, a past life card for you. 
May I have one past life card for the sign of Aquarius, please, Spirit? May I have one? Authority figures. So in a past life, you may have been um, some sort of authority figure. Or you were raised. Now, if you turn this emperor up straight, that's authority figure there. So you, in a past life, may have been raised, you know, in authority. You know, it's like this. It's, it's black and white. It's, it's this way. And, you know... It feels like now that you need to see this as things may be different than, you know, you feel like they are. But in a past life, it feels like that, you know, and I feel like also, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, someone in a past life um, dealt with authority figures because they were in trouble a lot. And I feel like that someone actually spent their, their life behind bars. Um, I do. They actually, yeah, that's that's very strong. I must say, very strong. Okay. Well, that's what I'm feeling for you. I'm not really feeling anything else. Um. Yeah. And, you know, this is a past life card, but this can also be, it's a feeling like um, possibly a deceased relative or such um, that this has to do with. And then, you know, that kind of seeps down to you. So, yeah, that's what I've got for you. And uh, thank you so much for being here with me. And thank you for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please like and subscribe share out the readings and much light and love till next time bye